my first artistic influence was um, probably my father. You know, my father went to a uh, music and art high school in New York. He started out as a music major, um, left as a vocal major, so he's a pretty talented guy, but maybe just never pursued it. You know, um, and then uh, another huge influence is uh, my cousin David Cooper was, is a really good artist. And, he used to work for DC Comics, and so like I would be a kid, and I would come up to New York, and he'd take me on the train, and we'd go down to the offices, and and then I would always see him drawing superheroes and things like that in his um, in his sketchbook, which made me want to get a sketchbook. But even more than seeing his superheroes, what what got me about Dave is that this guy could just draw anything. He'd go to the zoo and draw animals, draw people. You know, everywhere he is, his life drawing was just amazing to me, especially, you know, if I'm like 10 years old and I decide and I think that I want to be an artist. So, you know, it was really inspirational to see him doing well, doing it. And that's what made me really, that's probably the biggest thing that really, really made me want to do art. I wanted to be like my big cousin Dave. I, I'm a full-time artist and um, I have a family and um, you know, I, my wife Ingrid and my children, uh, Gabriel and Astrid, and um, so I have to work hard to kind of balance, you know, putting my artwork, you know, at a prominent place when you can always do something in the house, you can always do something for the kids, you know, you can always do something for your wife. And, and so I cannot tell you that I do a great job balancing the two. A lot of time I will put the artwork a little bit more to the side than it needs to be. But um, I think that I'm getting a little better at it every day, finding that, finding that balance. Because I, I love my career, but at the end of the day, I, I think that um, my family is more important than that. But I still, I, you know what, I think the biggest thing is that I try to remember that having your children see you work hard at something that you're passionate about, and pursue it to the nth degree is also very, very valuable because it'll instill in them that, that work ethic and um, that, uh, that, that, that setting a goal and um, taking the steps to achieve it. I try to get influenced by almost everybody that I come in contact with. You know, I, I find myself to be a, I think I'm a good learner. I think I'm a quick learner and a good listener. So if you tell me to do something, I'm going to do my best to, you know, we're in a class, I'm going to do my best to like follow your direction, do exactly what you're telling me, almost copy what you're doing um, as a demo so that I'll know it when I leave. And then I have the ability to take that and decide, well, how does that fit into what it is that I do? So I'm going to at least know it. So, so my, my early influences, um, I went to a great high school. I went to um, Suitland Center for the Visual Performing Arts at Forestville, Maryland. So, um, and I started out there. I wasn't, I wasn't even in the visual arts program, but I hounded my teachers and they, they, they let me come down to the dark classes and start taking our classes at no credit. So um, my teachers there, um, uh, my teacher, my main teacher there, Sherry Surratt, huge influence. I can almost recite to you almost everything she tells me, and she was a big deal going through high school. And every time I talk about her, I almost get a little emotional because I just love that woman so much. Um, going through college, um, I went to School of Visual Arts, and I thought it was a great school, and I had some really influential and famous teachers there, and so I tried to pick up everything I could from them. Um, after college, I worked at Hallmark Cards for a while, which was, to me, like um, my best young artistic experience. For me, that experience was like grad school, except for they paid you. And when you're there, you know, you're there with people that have been painting. At that time, I think it was about 25. These people have been working and painting for longer than you've been alive. And so there were a lot of great artists there. People like Gail Flores, Darren He, Jim Horner, you know, and and um, and others that I'm probably forgetting. Um, my brother Frank Norfleet, you know, I learned a lot 
from these guys, you know, working with them, just seeing how they do it, not only how they paint, but how they conduct themselves as professional. Now, my big influences are, um, they're probably people I see in books. I'm a huge Sargent fan. I don't think that that is, um, I don't think when you look at my paintings that there's any secret to that. Um, I love Nikolai Fetchin. I just think his drawings are so, are so lyrical. I love um, the aggression of like an Ilya Repin. You know, I, I'm a huge, huge fan of Henry Oswald Tanner. So, you know, right now I feel like I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of chasing the people that I always saw in museums. I also really enjoy certain abstract artists. I'm a huge Rothko fan. I love, because I love color. So anybody that just works with color, I really, really, really enjoy. You know, there are other artists I enjoy. I love Burton Silverman. I love like his paintings through windows and reflections because to me, like the big thing I learned from him just looking at his paintings and um, is that, is that, you know, there are technical challenges that you shouldn't shy away from. So that's a long answer about my influences, but I try to get influences from every stage of my life and I try to take them all with me and I try to remember those people all the time and hopefully one day someone will be sitting somewhere and say, well, I met this guy Gordon James and he was a big influence on me. I paint oil because um, I think it's permanent. I like the, I love the color. I love like the way, you know, you can get color in oil. Um, I paint in oil because I think it's very flexible. I actually think it's easier to paint in oil than it is in watercolor or acrylic for that matter. Um, I do dabble in acrylic. I do do some watercolors. I've got a set of pastels that probably haven't opened in a while, but I do, um, I do work in pastels. And to me, I try to be like, um, like, like an artist that's, I feel like once, whatever you give me, I've been doing this for a little while, whatever you give me, I think I'm gonna make a pretty good piece of art with it. You know, um, my watercolors aren't gonna be as good as my oil paintings, and you know, my pastels probably aren't gonna be as good as my watercolors, but I know the principles and I can make them all work, and sometimes I like the challenge of doing that, but the main reason I concentrate on oils is because I wanna be a great oil painter. The other thing I do a lot, I mean a whole lot, is draw. So um, I, I actually didn't, I forgot to bring one, but I use um, little wire bound sketchbooks. They're actually scrapbooks and they have like um, kind of a, 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 a tan page to them. And I use those and I draw and paint with them and, I, and I'm a big um, newsprint and charcoal guy and I make it to every figure drawing class session that I can because I love to draw, because I feel like you can use all the color in the world, but drawing is really the structure and the foundation. Honestly, um, there, are a few, there are a couple art supply stores in the area in Charlotte, but um, Cheap Joe's is my favorite. I find them to be the most reasonably priced. I feel like they have the best selection. Um, I love the new Charlotte store. It is bright, airy, and clean. I sure do hate that it moved from where it was because that was very close to my house, but the new store is a whole lot nicer. Not that the other store was bad, but the new store is very nice. And um, I like that if I go there, I'm generally gonna find what I'm looking for. And if they don't have it, then they can always order it, which is nice. And um, you know, a lot of my friends, they order a lot of their supplies off the internet. I don't plan that far ahead. So, you know, as long as I make sure it's during, oh, oh, during operating hours, I could just show up at the last minute, get exactly what I need. You know, um, I've come in there with a broken mat cutter and the guy that's helped me got to get the pieces together to, to get it going. You know, when I, really, when I really needed to get it done, you know, I was, I was up against the deadline. So I think that everybody's very, very helpful there. And um, I think that the people are very knowledgeable and that's why I'm the Chief Jones. I just want to encourage people to really, um, push themselves, paint things that they haven't painted. You know, always try to take that next painting a little bit further than the last painting. And I just wanna thank everybody that's helped me get this far.